Do you want to intro it? Would you like me to? I don't know. It's up to you. Hello. <coughs> Hello. Welcome to the V Vegan Show. I'm joined by the V Vegan here. Hello. I'm Eddie. I'm a white dude that is also here. It's also vegan. Yes, that's true. Yes. Yeah. And today, surprisingly vegan, this man witch. I don't know. You you do it. <laughs> My name is Lisa, and I'm the Viet Vegan, because I'm Viet, and I'm vegan, and today I'm joined by... I'm Eddie. <laughs> that's it, that's, that's the good one. Okay. Today, we're doing another Cook Along With Us video, because uh, we're hangry, and Eddie had a hankering for food, and so we're just, we're just rolling with it. So, today we're making Sloppy Joes with Manwich, because apparently it's vegan. Uh, cause I always assumed it had like the meat stuff in it cause it's like Chef Boyardee style like nastiness. Yeah, I thought like, it was just it? like one thing that you just dump in the pot, heat it up and put it on a bun, down the hatch. Incorrect, it's just sauce and <clears throat> the sauce is vegan. So we're gonna make that. Um, and then to go on the side because health, we're making coleslaw. Well I'm making coleslaw, he's making the other stuff. Yeah, do you want me to cut up onion to put in the pot? Do you want onion? Oh, uh, you're gonna ask me for onion. If you want. It's Today we're using ground round because it's cheap and it's, it's good. Yeah. That's fine. Well, do you want to explain like what what inspired you to get manwich? Well, the other day I was in the dollar store getting this Tupperware because it locks and I can put soups and stuff in it without it exploding in my bag. Sorry, I don't I don't go anywhere, so I don't need those things. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just saying. I need Need it for me. And then while I was at the dollar store, I noticed this manwich, and it doesn't say it on this one, but the one I saw said just add meat, which was that made me think of like why? Why would you add meat? And it turns out because there's none in here. And as we said earlier, we thought that manwich had meat in it. Today I was like, I could go for a sloppy joe. So I called Lisa up. I was at work. She was here. And I was like, hey, you want some sloppy sloppy joes? Sloppy joes. You want sloppy joes? I think we had sloppy joes once before, but you made them like from scratch. Yeah, I always make sloppy joes from scratch. Yeah. So I wanted to A, make things easier for her because Lord knows that I, I would not be capable of making sloppy joes from scratch. I think you could. It's just barbecue sauce. But then I was like, you know what? We're just going to get this sauce and some ground round and we're just going to apply heat. Do you want garlic Should in Should I get the bigger, the medium part? Up to you. We're, like, not, we're not doing both of these. It's just one. I know, but like, that big is one. It's just the right You wouldn't let me open the thing. Well, I wanted it intact for the video. This requires one pound of beef, which we're using ground round. Whatever that divided by four is like 300 something, right? Oh. It says it right there. Well, I didn't see 312 that. 312. So that's so, too much sauce. So I it. think that because we're like, no, uh, just this to one of these because then we're also adding in like onions and stuff. Okay. You're the boss. I am the boss. Do you want to use butter or do you want to use oil? For what? Fat that gets the onions cooking. What? The onions. You gotta put some oil to, I mean, we don't have to, but I like to put a little bit of oil to like get it juicy and going. These are brand new butter. <laughs> brand new butter. Vegan butter because people need to know. Oh yeah, it's vegan butter. Anytime I say butter or any ingredient that like would traditionally be not vegan, I really just mean the vegan version. So like mayo, the vegan mayo. Some of y'all get Have no up the chill. For, for real. Although I feel like I've complained enough about the people who have no chill that they've all just left the channel because I haven't gotten those comments in a while. Well, now you're going to get those comments. <laughs> uh, how much butter? I don't know, like a tablespoon? This much? No, that's a tablespoon. No, yes, a tablespoon. tablespoon. That's a tablespoon, that's fine. Yeah. Scoop, I should, I should apply heat. How much? <laughs> Six? Uh, sure. <laughs> I like having red onions in my coleslaw, but I find the flavor a little too strong. So what you do is you just let it soak in some cold water. And then it leaches out some of the flavor. Because that's one thing that we need is less flavor. The onion is really strong. So now I just shave off some coleslaw. I feel like this outside edge because it's 
soft and I want crunchy coleslaw. I'm still just applying heat to onions and butter. There's so much stuff here that is not pertinent to this. <laughs> oh yeah, I want the beverage. Cracking the coal Why is there maple syrup? Because I needed it for the coleslaw. <laughs> relax. Get some B-roll with your extra energy. All right, butter is melted. Okay. Do, do I wait for these to turn all caramel easy, or do I just throw the? I mean, it's better if you do. Okay. I'm just asking. I'm just saying. No, I'm just asking. I'm just saying. You okay? I'm fine. Are no, you okay? It, no, I'm. I am great. Cool. Can you use your extra energy to wash one carrot for me, please? Of course. Thanks. I want to do another spring roll night with Dan and Jenna. Yeah. Yeah. I could do that. I knew you would. We could also do sloppy drone night with Dan and Jenna. Um, we could. I feel like Dan would rather make his own sloppy Joe sauce. Dan, thoughts? So, am I waiting for them to be translucent or like caramelized? Translucent. Okay, so this is translucent dish? Yeah, it's probably fine. I mean, if you want to add a little browning, it adds more sweetness. We got plenty of sweetness in the sandwich. It's true, there is high fructose corn syrup in there. Because it's Did you just make a face at the camera? No. Oh, good. <laughs> ground round and sauce at the same time? Mm, I, would, I would do ground round and brown a little bit first and then make the sauce. Whoa! Uh, I don't know what energy you are harnessing right now, but it's wild. I think it's my uh, two slice of turkey <laughs> sandwich energy. <laughs> Speaking of turkey, either that or I haven't had Sloppy Joe's in a long time. Because the last time we had them, slash the only time we had them, was like, at the condo. Yeah, that was a while ago. Wow, this carrot is so orange. I think we maybe should use a bigger pot. Really? Just because there's like not a lot of room for like the stirring that needs to happen once the... Uh... Oh my god, it's half full, it's fine. When you add the sauce, it fills in the spaces. It'll be nice and soupy. I would, I'm just saying, it's better to be looking at it than looking for it, okay? What? Like a bigger pot. Looking at it versus what? Looking for it. I've never heard you. What? Is that another one of those things where you're like, everyone knows the thing, but no one knows the thing? <laughs> no. This one is specifically from Letter Kenny. Mmm, that smells like Sloppy Joe's. Smell that. Oh my god, that smells so sweet. It smells like ketchup. Well, the first ingredient is tomatoes. Tomato puree, which is water and tomato base. And sugar. No, that's not part of the tomato puree. Then it's water, white vinegar, then sugar slash with glucose, fructose, corn syrup. Oh my god. What are we doing? Relax, we're diluting it. Wait, no we're not. We're doing the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give me this. Haha, <laughs> you love me. So for my coleslaw, I'm actually just kind of playing it by ear. Um, but I do have a proper recipe on my blog. I'll link it down below if you guys want it. I also have a sloppy joe from scratch if you want to make it from scratch, but... That's not the spirit of this video. He wanted a certain thing, so he gets it. He doesn't often want things for dinner, so... The one time I ask, and he actually answers, we'll make it. Now what may happen at home, if you're trying this, is it will burn to the bottom of the pot. Lower the heat. You lower the heat if that's the case. I'm tilted. <laughs> I really hope this turns out because one, all this energy. Two, I, just, I don't want it to be waste. I'm sure it'll be fine. Good. You're not gonna like burn it till a crisp, are you? No, I'm talking about the, the video. No, oh. I'm sure it'll be fine. I might have a hard time editing it. Future Lisa, I'm sorry. Yeah, but at the same time, that's Future Lisa's problem. It's not your problem. It smells all right. It smells so sweet. It's not my fault the store only had this flavor. I feel like bold is also like similar. There's also one that's like barbecue bourbon or something like that. And then there's one that's chunky. Ew. What does that mean? Coleslaw sauce. Give it a little taste. Can you pass me tongs? Nope. Damn it.
Thank you. Yep. <laughs> okay. I was like, where are you going? I needed those. For some reason I thought, hey, maybe she wants the, uh, the metal ones. It's one of those things where like, this is like the flavor of salty gel or whatever that like, I grew up with, so it's like, food. <laughs> <laughs> How come I have more stuff in mine than you do? I can do more in my second one. I mean, it's up to you. The bread to inside ratio is not ideal on yours, but mm -hmm. this is like, that's a good time. I will actually agree with that, because it's not a sloppy joke, it's not overflowing. How's it coleslaw? This is also like super white. This whole meal is super white. <laughs> You have a problem with this meal? No, but I have a feeling people are gonna be like, "You're making this, but where's my bumbo, eh?" Well, now they're definitely gonna. Oh my god, Lisa! <laughs> it's just a little dirty. It's still good. It's still good. It's your mom. Okay, this is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're backtracking now, ain't you? That was so freaking hot. <laughs> Almost as if it just came out of this pot. <laughs> it's still steaming. Why are you going in? Again, when you knew how hot it was. It's so good. Oh my god. I'm gonna hurt yourself. Goes for the hottest part. Huh? There you go. Are there any improvements that you would make to this meal? I think the ratio could be better, but like, it's tough because in order to make the ratio like proper or whatever, we'd have to like make a massive amount of it are you saying more stuff less more sauce. less sauce but in order to do that like for this amount of round round you have like this much sauce left in the can i feel like we'd have to like make exactly three no we have to make like three three eves packages and two sloppy joe sauces to get the proper amount hmm. i like that uh, you had your mind open so that you could accept it you're like oh that's so sweet and then you're like hang on Hang on, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm happy that you like it. One, because I didn't make a terrible choice by making these today. But also, I imagine that this is similar to the feeling that you get when I like something that you make that I've never had before. Yeah. Usually you're like, that's okay. Imagine if I was like, that's okay. How would you feel? Oh, I'm devastated. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel every time. I said this like in probably the last video. I'm, I'm gonna try not to be such a negative Nancy anymore. I'm glad you finally understand how I feel. <laughs> the other time that it happened, when I got the mad response, was uh, mac and cheese and hot dogs, but you know. Yeah, you like when I make the whitest food. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Although you seem to really like the food that I make, though. I do. Spring rolls and soup and curry. I've never had curry before I made. That blows my mind. Curry is like a universal food. So many of the foods that we eat are things that I've never tried before. I never had like spring rolls or anything like that. The closest thing would be like at a Chinese buffet where it's like the fried ones. That's oh. not even close. They're just, that, that's how far it is. That's why I'm saying this. They're shaped. That's what I'm saying. That's the closest. Oh my God. Yeah, I like them. We move on, we learn, we live, we laugh, we love. You're like those people who like quote themselves on Instagram. <laughs> you want any juice? No, you have to it up. You know what? I would like it. I would like to cut it. It's still too strong. Fill it up to here, please. This is Five Alive Citrus. Thank you. Also known as Five Alive Normal. Plain. Is it? Yeah. This is the default Five Alive. It's pretty good. I like peach though. Mm. Me too. They didn't have any. Mm. Oh! That was a fun reaction. Oh! <laughs> I thought you like watered it down, but no. 
You kind of tried it. <laughs> Let's wrap up this video because this is gonna be a lot for me to edit later. I think that it is yet another one of those things that's like accidentally vegan that's like no one really thinks about because on the front of it, it's like just a big pile of meat between two buns. Also, it's called manwich. Which is his own thing. I'm not into that. No, me neither, but it tastes good. I'm glad you're not into that. No, you, know, you want to have some like manwich? Oh, so gross. <laughs> it's pretty gross. But the sauce tastes good. That's that's the important take right here. It's pretty good. Well, see, now I feel like it's a shame not to just finish it all. Don't you want to have some for your lunch tomorrow? I do want to have some for my lunch tomorrow. Which can go on my brand new Tupperware. <laughs> Full circle. All right, well, I had fun. I'm glad that it didn't taste as bad as I thought it was going to be. If you want a recipe for your own sloppy joe that I usually make with lentils, it's pretty good. I'll link it down below. But if you, you know, are ever in the mood for some quick old sloppy joe action, you can get some Hunt's Manwich. Not sponsored. <laughs> Let me know down below if you like these sort of cook with me type videos um, with me and Eddie. A bunch of you have said that you guys want more Eddie. If you guys want to watch our last cook with us video, it was a taco video, which is actually another one of Eddie's ideas to cook because he really wanted tacos. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys like it. Let me know down below if you like Sloppy Joe's and if you would eat a manwich, like, comment, subscribe. All that jazz really helps out the videos. My channel has been a little dormant lately. I don't know why YouTube is like, mm, you don't need views. But I do. Thanks guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a delicious day. Bye. 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 I was chewing still. Bye. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Viet Vegan because I'm Viet and I'm vegan and today I'm joined by Edward. I'm not giving you the chance this time. I'm a white vegan. No, oh my <laughs> god. Can you get B-roll of this? Yes. Nope. This thing. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be a hot mess of a video. Yeah. It literally sloppy Joe, okay? I don't know what part of that you're not gonna get. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs>